Hey, it's a little guy coding here again today. And uh, you know, when I when I ordered the scope here, and I've been working on a case, this is not the final case, but uh, I tried this one out, and yeah, it works. It's okay, but I'm trying a different one. When I ordered the scope, I also uh, ordered uh, this guy. Go ahead and open them up. There we go. Ta-da! It's a logic probe. I never had a logic probe growing up. I always wanted one, but now they're <laughs> relatively inexpensive. So let's pop it open here and take a quick look. I'm not gonna hook it up right now. We'll hook it up in a minute. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool. Let's see, and what voltages does it run off? I think it's quite a wide range. Yeah, four to 18 volts. So if we just quickly pop it on this nine volt battery, which side is plus? The plus is this side here. And the minus is that side there. And then we'll just play with it for a second. And we'll give it a try in circuit here. So uh, let's see, it's at uh, CMOS. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. It's just the levels right now. And then uh, pulse. So let's see. So there we got uh, a red light on the positive. And a low tone and a green light on the negative. So that's kind of cool. And let's see, it's got a memory button here. Yep, means we got uh, we got a change in. Uh, you know, it detected a change when I touched it. Um, so if you're looking for a pulse or something in a circuit, you know, and you say memory, then that light will come on. And of course, I think it also lengthens the pulses here. So if you detect a pulse, it uh, actually lights that long enough for you to be able to see it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, I thought maybe there was an option to turn the speaker off, but uh, it doesn't appear to be so. So low and high. Pretty cool. I like it. So let's see if we can uh, quickly attach it to this circuit here. Nope, I don't have the wires to do that. So we'll do that in a, in a future video, but I just wanted to show it to you. It's got a little speaker there, pulse, memory, CMOS, TTL, uh, switching levels, a high and a low LED, and a pulse LED, and it's got a nice, nice sharp tip on there with some insulation uh, so you don't short things out. And uh, nice, uh, nice clips here. Seem like those will work good. And it's got a whole key here as to, uh, so call Kita as to what the different states mean on there. Pretty cool. I like it. That'll be fun. So, we're building up some test equipment again. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll put the link up here where I got that too.